Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Ratatouille. Ratatouille is a 2007 animated theatrical release about a rat named Remy who dreams of nothing more than to be a chef and meet someone who might help him achieve his dreams. It is directed by Brad Bird and Jan Pinkava. Uh, a supervising animation done by Dylan Brown and Mark A. Walsh. Editing done by Darren T. Holmes. Music by Michael Giacchino, and it's written by Brad Bird. The film stars Patton Oswalt as Remy, Lou Romano as Linguini, Janine Garofalo as Colette, and Peter O'Toole as Anton Ego. Jan Pinkava actually created the entire concept for this film in 2000, created designs, sets, characters, core storyline, but uh, was never formally named director. In 2004, uh, Bob Peterson was named co-director and had full control of the story. And then uh, three months later, they lacked confidence in how it was going. So they turned to Brad Bird. Bob Peterson moved on to Up and Jan Pinkava ended up leaving in 2005. Uh, Bird was super excited about like being able to do the physical comedy of all of it and just the insane concept. He reworked the story by killing off Gusto, giving larger roles to Skinner and Colette. Um, and made the rats less anthropomorphic. Uh, he also uh, went to Paris with a bunch of crew so they could get a feel for the city and the food. They took cooking class so they could try to make the food look as delicious as possible. Uh, they also tested real life things like they had an animator wear like a chef's outfit and jump into water to see which parts stuck to him, which parts turned translucent. Um, they consulted with chefs, they consulted with a rat expert named Debbie DeCommon who brought rats in so they could study them. Um, cast members tried really hard to do the French accents um, and they used a lot of technology and a ton of reactions and lighting to try and make the food look as delicious as possible. The film had a $150 million budget and made $623.7 million in the box office. It has a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes consensus. Reads, fast paced and stunningly animated, adds another delightfully entertaining entry and rather unlikely to the Pixar canon. One best animated feature at the Oscars, but was also nominated for score, sound editing, sound mixing, and screenplay. Has plenty of video game appearances as well as some of their own. There is a ride and whole attraction thing in Disneyland Paris. It's also supposed to be coming to Epcot. Um, an unofficial Ratatouille musical went viral on TikTok and they raised $1.9 million for the Actors Fund. Uh, it was, it's was it been mentioned and parodied a ton in popular culture, including on SNL. And it is a significant plot thread in Everything Everywhere All at Once. There's a plagiarism moment here, not Disney plagiarizing someone else, but actually a movie called Ratatouille. I believe it's called, or I don't know how to pronounce it, that came out uh, later in 2007. It's really terrible animation if you look it up. Um, and people thought it was a blatant ripoff of Ratatouille. And to this day, we have no idea if Pixar took legal action or not. This is stunning to look at, stunning. For some reason, the part that like stands out the most to me is the water reflecting in the sewer off the sewer pipes. How they were able to like animate that is kind of bonkerton in my he head, um, so that's what stands out for me. Okay, for some reason, this watch through, it felt kind of long, which is crazy because we have like, all these notes that are like, it's fast paced, it's really good. Um, and I wouldn't take anything away. Like, I think it is good as is. I think this might be a case where I was like real tired <laughs> when I was watching it. So that could have been like an external factor and not something I really feel in regard to the edit. Um, but it, just know that for this watch through specifically, it felt a little long and I've never felt that way before watching Ratatouille. The music is so stunning and so specific to the vision of this film. I think it fits the movie perfectly, but I also will say, I don't think it's Michael Giacchino's best, especially for Disney Pixar. I think his best is Inside Out. Uh that's fine. He's done a thousand scores at this point for them. Um, so I don't think it's his strongest, but I do think it's perfect for the film. The voiceover choice is so interesting to me because I feel like we just went through the era where that was like super popular to have like, that's me, my name's Remy, and my life is kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we, we went through that, especially for Disney Channel original movies. Um, like there were so many that were like that narration and like almost like personal journal or video diary moment. Um, and I feel like that's like has slowly died away and we're like moving away from that whole thing. So seeing as like these kinds of films take forever 
to make. I'm feeling like maybe they did that concept back when it was like kind of popular to be doing that. So I thought it was interesting that we kind of circled back to like the whole, that's me, I'm Remy and I like to cook type situation. Um, I did, I do think though, then we move away from that into like, he's almost narrating and talking to himself with gusto, which I'm not opposed to. I thought that was interesting. Um, watching this now, I feel like Colette and Linguini moved so quickly. I couldn't believe he was kissing her when he was kissing her. I was like, I, uh, uh, you barely gotten to know each other. What are you talking about? Granted, I guess there's like a little bit of a time montage, I think, but it was still freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I'm faster moving. When I was younger, I was like, cute, they're in love, adorable, but I don't care, kind of. I only cared about Remy's storyline when I was little. Um, I love Linguini and Remy's friendship. I love how they kind of just understand each other without having to speak and that it's a man and a rat. I kind of... I'm obsessed with that. Um, I do think that this is a movie that you 100,000% can't think about too much, okay? You just need to enjoy the story, suspend your disbelief, because the second you teeter into thinking about it too much, this is the most horrifying <laughs> film ever. Think about walking into that kitchen and seeing hundreds of rats cook your meal. <laughs> I would pass away. Absolutely not. So if you think about it too long, it can get real freaky. And don't do that. Because it's a good, sweet story, good, sweet movie about anyone who wants to be a cook, including rats. I think this might be the strongest part of the movie. I think the acting stands out. I think the acting carries the movie which is fun because it's an animated release and normally it's like oh the animation was so beautiful or the story was so great which both of those things are true but i really think the actors shine in this film i think Patton and lou are so good i think peter o'toole is so good i think everyone just does a really really great job like bringing that emotion to the characters i mean you're feeling for a rat favorite part by far and away, Linguini standing up for Remy when he says no, stop, and gives all the credit to Remy in the kitchen and everyone like abandons him. I love that part because it's finally like, yes, okay, quit taking credit. And also that's beautiful. And now you're like solidified friends for doing that. I'm obsessed. Least favorite part, all the rats in the fridge. Terrifying if you think about it too long. Oh my God, no thank you. Recommend, of course. It's Ratatouille, it's so good. Watch it again, naturally. I I don't watch it like often, often, but if, if someone wanna watch Ratatouille, I am in. And you know, occasionally I will throw it on. Who doesn't like Ratatouille? Specific moments. His brother supporting him no matter what. Anil's great. The woman at the beginning pulling out a shotgun because she saw a rat and tearing up her own house. Insane, <laughs> insane. You don't have guts to the kiss and then a uh, gaslighting Skinner <laughs> about the rat the whole movie. Amazing. His dad showing him the mouse killing stuff was so, so awful. Remy's dad showing him the mouse killing stuff was so awful. I hated that. When Linguini is telling Colette and trying to tell her about Remy and he keeps saying little chef, she's like this up against her motorcycle and she goes like this. I'm gonna do it again. She glances down, guys. She glances down. You know what that means. He's saying little chef she glances down. That is comedy. That is the funniest joke in the movie for some reason to me because it's so subtle. That's the kind of subtle sex joke that makes me laugh. That's really funny. Um, the Incredibles undies, also great. Uh, otherwise, that's everything I have. This is fabulous. I definitely, you know, love it. Who doesn't love Ratatouille? I mean, it's very good. Um, this watch through for some reason was a little slow, but otherwise it's funny, it's charming, it's a sweet story. It's Ratatouille. That's everything I have for Ratatouille. My final rating is seven. I mean, is it weird to do rats? Seven rats out of 10. Our total movie count is... Fair, Death Toll, and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie you're watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1. We get every video a week early on a coupon code for merch. Uh, speaking of merch, buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. We love merch in this land. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do you, and don't be Skinner about it. <laughs>
He rides across the nation, the thoroughbred of sin. He got the application that you just sent in. It needs evaluation, so let the games begin. A heinous crime, a show of force, a murder would be nice, of course. <laughs> bad horse, bad horse, bad horse, bad horse. Ratatouille, done. Ratatouille, finished. Ratatouille. Ratatouille, who am I? <laughs>